Greetings, one and all. Yesterday, EA had their panel at the big gaming convention E3, where they announced Madden 18 would include a story mode called Longshot. This means that both the EA Sports big gun franchises of FIFA and Madden will have story modes in the 2018 iterations of their franchises. The question hockey fans and fans of the NHL video game series should be asking now is, will NHL 18 have a story mode? Personally, I don't think there will be a story mode and the series will continue with its be a pro game mode, but let's take a look at the situation in detail, shall we? So the NHL series, of course, has a be a pro game mode, as I mentioned earlier, that was introduced way back in NHL 2009, where you can create your own player and have them either play in the CHL in Canada, get drafted into the NHL, or join whichever team in the NHL you want and play for them straight away with whichever position, whichever number that isn't already taken on that team, and play for the team. This game mode has been around for a while and is quite frankly boring as Hell, there is nothing to keep players coming back to play more of this mode as there hasn't been a focus on adding new features or elements to it. Be a Pro hasn't had enough attention or focus given to it and therefore it hasn't kept up with the improvements that have been made to the other game modes over the same span of time, meaning that Be a Pro has become out of date and uninteresting. Every year, Be A Pro is the same. You play one season of being a mid-70 rated player who works his way up to the top line or the top defensive pair or the starting goaltender position and you hit top 10 or even the league lead in scoring points and goals. You make it to the playoffs, you win the Stanley Cup and then you realise there's literally nothing else to do so you give up and play a different game mode and forget Be A Pro ever existed. We did have a variation of Be A Pro back in NHL 14, the last NHL game on the previous generation of consoles with Live the Life, but that was basically the same thing as before with a few extra multiple choice button presses for so called interviews. So it was quickly removed in the next entry when EA realised it didn't actually add that much to the experience. Also, NHL 15 was the jump to the next generation of consoles, so it was obviously too much work for them to put Live the Life into the next instalment for the little positive feedback the additions that they made got. If a story mode were to be an entry into the NHL series this year, it would have to be a damn sight better than the previous attempt they made at adapting the game mode, that's for sure. I mean, the game mode has changed once in its eight years of existence, with the changes being taken out the next year. The next year! Come on, EA! Put some effort into the offline game modes, please! Now, I would love to see a proper story mode in NHL 18 as much as the next guy. I played some of FIFA 17's The Journey. They've got that coming back as another another series, another season in 18. They've got Madden 18's long shot. I would love to see an NHL 18 story mode as much as the next guy. But I don't think there will be one in the upcoming game. It is likely not to happen, even though FIFA and Madden have done it, due to the popularity of the two latter game series compared to the NHL series and the sizes of the teams working on each game. One of the biggest differences is the amount of resources that go to the NHL team compared to FIFA or Madden. It's no secret that the NHL team is one of the smallest groups at EA Sports and the funding and resources that they get to make their games is much smaller than FIFA or Madden because they sell noticeably less copies. Football and American football are more popular sports around the world compared to ice hockey so it's no surprise that they sell more copies of their games and therefore get more funding, staff and resources to improve their games for the next iteration. This means that it is difficult for the NHL team to implement everything that they may want in to, to put into the game every year and they might implement less than the bigger games as they simply have less at their fingertips to use. I'm not trying to give them an excuse for what they do, just trying to help you guys understand their side of the story. Also, another problem is the fact that the NHL team have roughly a year to work on each game, of course as do FIFA and Madden, and to get it onto shelves for people just like me to buy it and then criticise it for the lack of innovation. If they took a few years to really perfect an NHL game, it might have a longer lifespan. However, it might not be up to the current graphical standards. It would keep having to be updated with the new rosters that change pretty much a few times every year. And the fan base might be disappointed or upset with the lack of yearly release. 
it really is a catch-22 situation, and I'm glad that I'm not involved in making the game in any way, as the team basically cannot win whatever they do. Also, more related to the games themselves, of the in-game stuff, one of the biggest in-game differences between the bigger EA Sports franchises and NHL is the use of the Frostbite engine. Frostbite is a gaming engine which was created by EA, which first saw its use in the Battlefield series, most recently and most notably Battlefield 1, and has now found its way into FIFA and Madden. Both Madden 18 and FIFA 18 will be using the Frostbite engine in their games. I believe FIFA 17 used Frostbite as well last year. There has been nothing to say NHL 18 will run on Frostbite, which would indicate that NHL will have a noticeable graphical downgrade compared to the bigger franchises, and will once again emphasise how little EA Sports cares about NHL compared to the other sports games. Now, there may be a chance that NHL goes on Frostbite, and if that's the case, then what I've just said is pointless and great. I'd love to see NHL on Frostbite because it would look absolutely gorgeous. However, if they don't put it on there, then there's going to be a clear difference and a very big statement from EA Sports showing we don't have the funding to give the NHL team to let them put the game on Frostbite and we don't actually care enough because it's not making us enough profit compared to FIFA or Madden. Now, we all, all, now all we know about NHL 18 at the time of this recording and this video's upload is from the useless teaser trailer that they released earlier in the week. The one with Mitch Marner and his changing sticks and the lovely voice. I did a video on it. You can go and see it. So we won't know much more until the NHL Awards on the 21st of June in about 10 days' time. So EA Sports could reveal a story mode for NHL and everything that I've said could become pointless. However, they also may not do such a thing and instead focus more once again on their moneymaker in Hockey Ultimate Team and continue to neglect what myself and hopefully other hockey fans want from their series. A reason to keep playing more of the game that doesn't involve more money leaving our wallets and going into theirs. So I shall leave the question with you guys. Do you think NHL 18 will have a story mode similar to FIFA or Madden? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.